it's not very often that I make tips videos, mainly because I'm not an expert woodworker, but I've found a method for sharpening chisels and plane blades that works really well for me and is inexpensive, so I thought I would share my methods with you and hopefully this helps some of you. There are already lots of excellent videos about sharpening on YouTube, some of which taught me what I know now, and I'm going to be linking to my favourite ones in the description box below this video. But this video is going to be focusing on how you can get really good results inexpensively. I will also include some links in the description box below for the products that I use. So first I'm going to talk about the equipment that I use to sharpen, and the first thing and most important thing for me is a honing guide. Previously I found sharpening to be quite difficult without one of these. It's a cheap device, it's only $4.99 in Screwfix which is where I bought mine and for me it's worth every penny. Secondly I use this double sided diamond plate. It's 360 grit on one side, 600 grit on the other and these are available currently on Amazon for £14.99 made by Tadia. Now I've found that 600 grit isn't enough to achieve a really sharp edge. So the next product I use is this 1200 grit wet and dry paper. I tend to buy this in tool station here in the UK as it's only £2.60 for a pack of 10 sheets. You can also buy it in Screwfix but currently it's £3.79 for the same quantity of sheets. The final product I use is this green polishing compound and this is available on Amazon at £5.39. The only other thing that I use is a scrap of either MDF or plywood. To show you the method that I use, I'm going to be sharpening this 18mm or 3 quarter inch Stanley chisel. So the first thing I want to check is that the bottom of the chisel at the very tip is perfectly flat. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat for the full length of the chisel, just at the tip. I use some water with some washing up liquid in it to lubricate the plate. You could also use an oil, but I find that water does the job just fine. So I'm going to place the back of the chisel down onto the diamond plate, push down with three fingers and move it backwards and forwards. Now I can see from the abrasive marks on the back of the chisel that I've already got a perfectly flat edge at the front, which is perfect. So now I'm going to rotate the plate to the 600 grit side, lubricate that too, and do the same again. Next I'm going to tear off a piece of this 1200 grit paper pop that on the stone and add some water there and then polish that back edge to 1200 grit I only use this 1200 grit wet and dry paper because I don't have a stone that's of an equivalent grit. So you could use a stone if you've got one or if you want to buy one, but this stuff works fine for me. I've got this piece of MDF that's screwed onto a block of wood and I'm going to stick that in the vise. And with the buffing compound, I'm just going to rub that on there. And now I can buff the back of this chisel. And you can see now on the back of the chisel, at the very tip, we've got a mirror finish. So with the back of the chisel flattened off, I can go back to the diamond plate. Now to actually sharpen the front edge of the chisel, I'm going to put the chisel in the vise and slide on the honing guide as straight as I can and tighten it with this thumb screw.
And to get the right bevel angle on this chisel, what I tend to do is to set the distance between the tip of the chisel and the front of the honing guide to somewhere between three and a half and four centimeters. And then you can tighten the honing guide with a screwdriver just to make sure that the chisel's not gonna come out. So now I'm gonna put the diamond plates back into the vise and start with the 360 grit side. Now you place this wheel on the honing guide onto the plate, hold down the front of the chisel and sharpen away. Now I just need to make sure I'm cutting the very tip of the chisel and looks good. So now I'm going to go up to 600 grit. Next I'm going to go back to the 1200 grit wet and dry paper. Finally back to the MDF again. And then to remove the burr from the back, just going to give it one stroke. And there we have a nice shiny edge. So the bevel that's now on this chisel is 24 degrees. And now it's nice and sharp. So using this method you can get everything that you need for around £25 to sharpen your chisels and your hand plane blades for many many years. So hopefully that was useful to some of you. Please let me know in the comments if it was because I'm keen to understand whether it's worth me doing any more of these type of videos. Also let me know if you've got any suggestions as to how I can improve my methods. Thanks for watching.